Alright, this is the bar, the Grim Guzzler in Black Rock Depths. I'm sure you all know what this is. And um, this guy back here, Thorian Brotherhood, this is where you turn in stuff for Dark Iron Rep. Once you get through, uh, I think it's friendly up to Honored, this is pretty much the only way to bring it up. And um, you can turn in Iron Ore, Dark Iron Ore, four to t uh, ten at a time, and it doesn't give you much. Um, Really what does it is fi fiery cores and lava cores, or core leather, or I guess blood of the mountain too, but that's all stuff from molten core. Um, so that's really the best way to do it, and that'll bring you right up. Uh, right now, I think I okay. am, my rep is, uh, where is it, Thorian Brotherhood. I'm just barely into Honored. This is what's available at Honored from Thorian Brotherhood. Um, you can just pause and read everything. Just trying to burn through it quick. Leatherworking, tailoring, and blacksmithing basically. A little bit of enchanting stuff, but not much. It's mostly for blacksmithing and leatherworking. There's some tailoring stuff. Oh, Dark Iron Destroyer. Oh. Some of these, I think Dark Iron Destroyer at least, you can get it from a drop. Oh, there's a little bit of alchemy too. There you go. Now I'm going to bring myself up to revered hopefully got a bunch of cores because you can turn the cores in one at a time that's really the way to go 2100 rep yeah pretty good nope not that not that either fire cores or the other cores lava cores are both the same thing I'm pretty sure that's 2100. Let me make sure. Yep, 2100. Let's see how far we get. There we go. There's. Uh, what am I now? Revered. Now let's see what he has access to. I wish it would just show everything and just say on it what rep it requires, but it doesn't really work that way. It just shows you whatever you have access to with your rep. I guess because it's a pretty old one. So I'm just going to go through each one again, not try to remember which one was there before. And you can just pause and figure it out. Or maybe the new ones just start here. Probably. Good. Okay. New ones just start here. See that's tailoring. I guess there is some tailoring stuff. Other working. Other working. Other working. And here I'm gonna buy this blacksmithing. Yep, I don't have any of these yet. Cool. I got I got exalted um, on one of my dwarves, uh, Raver, on uh, Moonguard. This one is just getting there now. Okay. Now let's see if we can get up to Exalted. I don't think I have enough for that. Let's see. Well, actually, I still got five, eight lava cars. I might make it. I don't know why I'm tracking Argent Dawn rep. Any, it doesn't even exist anymore. Well, it kind of does. I guess there are still ways to bring it up, but... Yeah, he had a bunch of scourge stones to turn in, and like an idiot, I never turned them in, so... Yeah, what a waste. I really hate Kata. Really, really hate it. <laughs> now we're just on lava, of course. That's all I got left. I'm guessing core leather is the same thing, 2100 apiece. Yeah, this is 
It goes up quick with the cores. You try to bring it up with dark iron, forget it. It takes, I mean, oh, oh it's two core leather for each one. But, uh, bring it up with dark iron, that's just crazy. Hey, there's Exalted. Is that this guy's first Exalted rep? Yes, it is. Wow. Yeah, I've neglected this character a lot in the past. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully it's just tacked on the end. What did I buy last time? Okay, here's new. Pyre chain chain oh well, let's start it here. Playing core that's tailoring. Belt are working. I'd show you what this stuff looks like, but this guy's pretty ugly and you know, undead, so his knees are always there and it's just dumb. Oh, there's shoulders. I meant to just buy that. Those look pretty cool. Dark iron leggings, dark So now I can make all this dark iron stuff, which is cool. Let's see. Is it a formula? Yeah, it's, it's mostly blacksmithing. I mean, look at all this cool stuff now. Maybe I'll just show you what the weapons look like. Oh, this guy doesn't even have much money. <laughs> 239. That's sad. Okay. Um, let me just show you what the weapons look like. Black Amnesty. Was that a dagger? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And uh, Black Fury is a pole arm. That's pretty nice. I like this dark iron stuff. It looks cool. Of course, it's completely outdated, but it looks cool. And, um, Heaven Hand is a what? Mace. Cool. It's pretty awesome. Nightfall is a two handed axe. Wow. That's nice. That's really cool. I wonder if that's a new one. I don't remember. If I got that one on Raver. Huh, I'll have to check. That's a sword. Black guard. That's over on this side. Cool. That dark iron stuff looks really nice. And showed that one. Okay, dark iron boots. Uh dark iron gauntlets. Dark iron leggings. Current helm. There you go. Or destroyer. <laughs> cool. And no, sh no dark iron plate shoulders. These are mail. All right. Just wanted to show you here in the um, summoner's tomb. Uh, not anger rail. Gloom rail. Right here. This is the guy that you talk to to learn how to smelt dark iron. I already know it, so. But he gives you a quest and he tells you what he wants. He, there's like a little bowl that floats over here. And I think it's. I know it's. I don't remember how much of each, but you need true silver, star rubies, and gold, I think. Don't remember now. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description. But that's the guy you gotta talk to for it. You gotta talk to him before anyone makes the challenge with the head dwarf up here. As soon as they start challenging this guy, Doomrail, then forget it. He's not gonna talk to you. You know they're gonna they're gonna get into their um, pattern where each one attacks you and stuff. So that's that. And here, uh, right at the entrance of the molten core, there, right across the bridge, is the molten core, and there's a core fragment there. If you need to get attuned, you pick up the quest in front of Black Rock Depths. The core fragments back there. But um, here, just past this dark iron ore, that fire elemental. Really, really, I'm I'm level 80. Come on. No. I am still trying to remember how to play a Fury Warrior. It's been a long time since I played this guy, and I I don't really like. Fury Warriors much. <laughs> well, I like, you know, having Fury Warrior friends and everything. I don't like trying to play a Fury Warrior. I have an Arms Warrior Stone Axe, and I like him a lot, Dwarf. 
and I'm trying to learn how to tank here and there with him. But Fury, I, I don't like it. I mean, this guy was always Fury, and he always will be. I'm not going to flake, but I don't like it. <laughs> I, I kind of know what I'm doing, but it just seems like they don't have enough rage. I mean, with uh, Stone Axe and Arms, I just seem to always have rage. And Fury, you just don't. Okay, right here. This is the Black Forge. This little spot at the end of this little path. This is the only place in all of World of Warcraft where you can smelt Dark Iron. I'm going to smelt what I got now. And it takes eight Dark Iron ores to make one bar. It sucks, but that's just how it is. There's a lot in Molten Core, and if you run around enough in Blackrock Depths, you can find a pretty good amount there, too. I think since Kata, you can't find it in um, Searing Gorge at all. I don't think so. I didn't see any. You used to be able to see one every once in a while. But I don't think so anymore. Oh, look at that. One Dark Iron Ore away. I ha I'm gonna... Now I gotta run around all over the place. I'm sure I skipped a couple of veins because I didn't go through all of Black Rock Depths. I might even try to sneak in Molten Core. Oh, that's annoying. One Ore. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's good for the video.